responding in the Bronx, home of the New York Yankees and the famous Bronx Zoo. 42 square miles of concrete, asphalt, and every kind of building imaginable, housing 1.2 million people. It's the smallest of the five New York City boroughs, yet it ranks number two in fires. Throughout the Bronx, FDNY maintains 31 engine companies, 27 ladder companies, and nine battalions. Included in these numbers is a station that's come to be known as the Animal House, one of the busiest firehouses in the world. The Animal House is home to Engine 75, Ladder 33, and Battalion 19. In 1991, they responded to over 15,000 alarms. In the last 20 years, they've made over 300,000 runs. As one might imagine, the name Animal House is probably the most appropriate handle for a station like this. That model's about 10 years old uh, for these quarters. Uh, it was the movie that we all know was uh, made famous by the frat house that called Animal House, and I think it was kind of a, uh, derived from that, uh, also because of the activity uh, coming from these companies, uh, the large amount of responses in fire duty by this particular house, uh, they got the nickname Animal House. I think it kind of reflects the uh, atmosphere around here. It's uh, a firehouse that's had a lot of fire activity since the mid-70s and it, uh, you know, it's an old firehouse. It's kind of a mess around here, kind of like the uh, fraternity house in, in the movie. This place is unique. It's uh, a very tough neighborhood outside. Uh, I grew up in this particular neighborhood and uh, it's a big difference from when I lived in this neighborhood. Uh, a lot of drug activity, uh, shootings, and of course a lot more fire duty. This house was officially open for business on Christmas Day in 1901 as a two-piece engine company. On May 10th, 1907, Engine Company 75 was reorganized to operate as a motorized engine company with a hose wagon. Hook and Ladder Company 33 was officially assigned, and the two companies have shared these quarters ever since. During the mid to late 50s, the companies responded to an average of 800 runs per year. Runs in the South Bronx increased steadily over the following years into the 1960s. With the element of presidential assassinations and the death of Martin Luther King, the South Bronx, like many other large cities, began to burn. Arson for hire was a large factor in the destruction of the area. Sleazy landlords would opt for insurance payoffs rather than make needed improvements. The South Bronx became one big, vacant lot. The dense population shifted northwest to the Fordham Hill area, and the legacy of Engine 75 and Ladder 33 was written. Runs began to increase to alarming numbers. By 1970, the two units responded to nearly 15,000 calls per year. For people who inhabit this area, there is very little to count on or hope for. Only the rage of fires, crime, and drugs. In the midst of this dim picture, there stands the animal house. We have every kind of experience here. There's every type of building, brownstone, row frame, multiple dwelling, private house, uh, taxpayers, you got it all uh, in this response area right here. The station sits directly below the L structure. And although the trains are not visible from the street, the noise and vibrations serve as a constant reminder that inner city life is right outside the door. You get a lot of gunshots, stabbings. Sometimes in the summertime, the quarters here, they're dragging the people in here. It's almost like a mass unit sometimes. Uh, also right out front is one of the biggest drug areas around here. We've had uh, guys looking out the front windows and had them open up shooting people. We had a 16-year-old girl shot here across the street just uh, a couple of months ago. She died. And the guy uh, that she was standing with, he was shot five times, and he'd just gotten out of the hospital a week before. He'd been shot six times about six months before that. In this neighborhood, you've got people from all over the world, all the islands, and, uh, and they know that if they're in trouble or whatever, they call the fire department that we're going to come no matter what it is. And we'll respond from 
to anything from water leaks to car accidents and uh, maternities, stuck elevators, any type of, uh, you know, where people need help, they know they push the button on the corner that we're going to come, whether they can speak English or, or what. A lot of people, there's not many people around here that can afford phones, so uh, the box on the corner, they know, is the place to go. On any given night tour, it's not unusual for the engine company to make 35 runs. During the day, perhaps 20 runs. Unlike newer departments in other areas, New York City still maintains a heavy load of fire calls.